Hello, everyone. Yeah, our guests will be here in a bit. Get everybody in here. Why is it? Hold on. Hello. Hang on. We don't have everyone. Okay. That was, that was acting weird for me. Welcome. Oh. Go okay. Let's give a few minutes for everyone to get situated. All right. Let's get Jacob up here. Yeah, it's a little stuck. Hello there. All righty then. If you guys are ready, I will hit the go live. Okay. All right, we'll be going live in three, two, one. Salutations. Hey, hello, welcome everyone. Right. And my name is MC Voices. And it's, I'll be your co-host for this panel. Joining me is my other co-host, Landy RS. Welcome hey to there. the welcome to the Crossbake Studios Sonic Quest for Harmony Q and A. So joining us is is some of the creators behind. Crossbreak Studios and Sonic Quest for Harmony, those being in Token San. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi. It's good to be here. We have Doc Nguyen, I think that's how you pronounce your name. It's pronounced Win, and Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Uh, okay. Doc Nguyen, make a note of that. And then we have JA15. Is your microphone working? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh dear. Well, anyway, we also have Flicker Flame. Hello? Flicker? Try to uh, try to rejoin the stage. Hello? <laughs> yes. yes. There we go. <laughs> it worked. Well, I apologize, everyone. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> can we hear? And Flicker, can you, can you, can we hear you as well? Or can I speak up? Shoot, I'm not seeing anything from Flicker. Neither. Mm. Oh my goodness. See, this is why Discord is so crazy. <laughs> yep. It it can be it can be fickle and uncooperative. Well anyway, let's get started by explaining who uh, who each of us are and what each of us contribute to the series. Like first off, I myself All am right. gonna be I'm yeah. gonna be placing Cubot for. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Hey, let's, I'm here. Sorry. Well done. Yeah. Well, there we there go. go. Sorry about that. Right. Sorry about that. The phone it's fine. Was... Good to have you on. Hi, Flicker. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> right. I love anyway, that. I was. Anyway, as I was saying, I myself am voicing Cubot. I'm not voicing him in episode one, but from episode two onward, I will be voicing him. And Landy, why don't you say who you're voicing? Uh, I voice Sonic the Hedgehog. For uh, Quest for Harmony. Okay. Sonic. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, and Goken, why don't you say who, what you do? Hi, um, I'm Goken Sam. I am. I actually am the one that started this, and I I've been, and I I not I do like multitude things. I do video editing. I do voice acting. I do art. Multitude things no. and project management. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So yeah, that's 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 what I am. Yeah, yeah, go again. He's yeah. responsible for this yeah. mess. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and now Doc. Uh, and at first, I started off as the storyboard artist for episode two, but once in a while, in case there's like a a scene that needed to be, I'll be drawn, back in a minute. And, I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah, you oh, said he'd be, he'd be back in right a bit. Back. Oh, okay. Please continue. Um, uh, once in a while, when there's a scene that's been like um, behind schedule or overdue, then I also help in to like uh, finish those as well. Nice, nice. nice. And Jay. Hi. Yeah, I've also been uh, asked by Gogan, especially for being an artist here. I actually helped out with one of the scenes on uh, Twilight versus Eggman, so I was very happy to be a part of it. It didn't take long, but uh, I actually plan to do uh, some more voices in the future. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's and true. And, and oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh go on, Doc. Uh, I'm just saying that JA's her. I've seen her drawings of Twilight. And they're they're really awesome and beautiful to look at. No, stop. Yours is just as good, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, also, she's, 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 also she's also the one behind the thumbnail of the first episode. Wow. Oh, stop. Very nice. That's you. just how brilliant she is. <laughs> okay, Flicker, your turn. 
<laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Flicker Flame. Uh, but a lot of people know me as just Jacob from I work on a lot of, you know, stuff, you know, audio dramas. But this one I I worked um I've known Gokin the probably the longest uh, more the probably the longest compared to all, all of y'all. Well, I don't know. I'm not I shouldn't assume things. But uh, I started um helping him out with writing a long time ago for a game that eventually turned to the audio drama that we that we see here today. So I'm not really compared to y'all, I'm not really super active working on this project, but I did help write a part of the script um way back when. Uh and I was asked to join. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Also, the incredible yeah. mythic hope in the chat. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Nobody got Always a <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Before we turn it over to audience questions, got a few questions here for you guys. Anyway, first off, how did this project come to be? So, th- so first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you for giving this opportunity for us to, an- to answer questions for you guys and those in this panel. So, yes, this project started off there a time when COVID was a COVID was big. And that was a time when I recently got into My Little Pony, thanks to binging over the Sonic and My Little Pony crossovers. So after building up PC game, after building up gaming PC, I started development on the fan game that Jacob has mentioned. So yes, we which just said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was pretty heavily yeah. involved with, but, but. exactly. So mm-hmm. so like after releasing the first demo, that is when I got a few support and. And ever and when the audio drama adaptation and also a video series happens to be and has to be made decided, that was when the first script was made, and then it took then it ended up becoming a long hiatus. However, so I put so things got really really babies and everyone has their, has lives so how so therefore i took like a huge responsibility for this first episode on getting it to be done so yeah that's how it all that's how it all happened it's like it took like three years let's go very nice anyway next question what was what were some of the challenges in bringing the two franchises sonic and my little pony together so the biggest challenge for the sonic and mlp get working getting together is basically like getting an art getting like an art style to fit in the two characters as well it's basically so what happened so it's it's a little challenging when you have to like write also have to write down scripts on how they interact with each other and and also, like when it comes to some team members, they have to at least find it's what's challenging is also trying to iterate, basically iterating the iter, iterating the, the execution, executing the the characters when it comes to them involving with each other. So, but you know, it does take time, and also making sure that the story is onto the point. That's also a challenge because. It's like how you mix your both franchises together. So, other than that, yeah, those were the and another la- the biggest challenge as well, which we're currently working on right now, is to cha- is to make sure the plot is actually makes more sense because because we do want to make a really unique story for this crossover and not just making a cliched Sonic or Rainbow Dash for it, uh, series and de- de- defeating Eggman. We want to do, we wanted to do something a lot more than that. So building a story like this is also is kind of like one of the biggest challenges ever that we, so that's currently in the progress. Very nice. Interesting. Now, what has been one of the some of the most without spoiling anything what has been some of the highlights of creating the series are you talking about the first episode what or this episode's the first or episode zero because that's what we have so far basically, basically what have what have been your favorite parts of creating the series have there been any moments that really stood out 
The favorite part of the series, in my opinion, is when in the first episode is when Pinkie Pie was mentioning the talking fox. Because that is where every, all the audience was catching more attention to this. Because it's kind of interesting because Pinkie Pie feels like she is telling the future of what would happen. And because we want to make sure that she is a, such an ironic character that we can't question. So. Oh, I'm, 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 exactly. So. I'm really hoping that we would act Pinkie Pie's moments is going is really is something that, you know, we can just, she can just tell her future, tell her, tell her about her, the future of the, what's going to happen. Cause you know, I wanted to, I wanted her to be a lot more unique and putting a lot of references to other franchises as well. So yeah, it has been my favorite moment. <laughs> no spoilers, please. Yes. And anyway, my next question is for the artists. Can you describe what it's been like working on this project? Um, oh, it's been super nice. So, it's, a th- so it's, a, it's just, so there are three of us. So who wants to start answering first? Ladies first. Let's oh, ladies. oh, please. All right. Um, I'd like to say it was very nice, especially when reading the script and finding out which um, scene would really fit the mood of both my art and also the way that Gokin wants it to be persuaded on screen. So, uh, say that when I was reading the verses of Sonic and Rainbow or their first meeting, I was thinking that that kind of has like more of a competitive style. So maybe I'll give that to someone else. But then the really emotional stuff that happened was during Twilight versus Eggman, and I was thinking, hmm, maybe I could help with some of that stuff. So, um, as an, as actually being an art college student here right now in my junior year, um, <laughs> right now, just being, <laughs> being in the confinement of my room with my roommates and all that. Anyway, um, it, w- it did take a while for me to do some of the scenes, but with the help of doc, I was able to like put in one of my vectors, uh, the part that you guys have seen when Twilight screams out, like, no, don't hurt him and all that stuff. So, or don't hurt Spike and all that. So, just helping Doc specifically with that scene, so so they wouldn't have so much to work with. But yeah, otherwise, I thought it was very very nice. Yeah, same here. Um, so when I was like, uh, first of all, like when I first joined the team, I was like making a story. I was like reading through a few of the scenes for uh, episode two and uh, don't worry i'm not spoiling anything i'm just like like i was just like reading them and just like sketching out the details and i'm i'm not gonna spoil anything but while i was working it just it's like an amazing experience like i'm just playing a part of i don't know in a way it's like making history of animation for both both the sonic and the my little pony fandom as we've seen similar crossovers in the past Mm -hmm. and uh, that's how i took some inspiration from them and i just wanted to play my part in those and later when i was working on that scene that that ja was talking about yeah we both like worked together and we both like collaborated and figured out on how to like capture that emotional tension like when twilight was confronted by eggman and she's trying to save spike so i just like wanted to like like show the emotion that the audience can feel when spike was being held a prisoner and twilight's doing her hardest to save him so you do not mess with a mama bear and her cub no you no. Don't. <laughs> no you do not and don't ever and don't ever hurt spike in front of twilight don't ever hurt her baby <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, for me, so during the development for episode zero and one, I have been like my duty as also in the artist side is doing storyboards just so that what I do is like I read through the script in explaining the de- reading through the details on what the characters are doing. And I draw through, I draw the storyboards through them. 
using them as like a draft while editing my pro while editing the scenes. So, and then once all these drawings are done, I just assign the art. I sign the artist to do that scene if they want to choose. The, so like as a director, I just choose, let the artist choose which scene they want to draw unless they need me to help them. So after, so once I choose, once I fin choose the, once I let the artist choose the scenes, I just assign them and they just draw the exact, the exact way that they, that I drew this, drew them through the sketches, unless they have another better way to try it. They don't have to follow it. So, so if there's, and if there's any problem with the artist that they cannot do their task, I either take the lead to take over that take over that part, or I let others, or I just let other artists do the do that scene, depending on my time, depending on what, how how much time do I have left. So yeah, like I want to at least contribute every part of. The, I actually want to contribute any all on all positions, not only artists, because you know it's kind of like what the lead the project lead needs to do as a because you know to take responsibility because we treat each other like family mm -hmm. wow isn't that sweet <laughs> yeah. family. that's Very what it's good. about it's all about family about family taught dang <laughs> let's bring, bring, diesel. bring Vin diesel over here <laughs> anyway flicker you have anything to say uh no i was just no. um Adding on to what Gokun was saying, yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really have much to say regard in regards to that, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm so it. inspirational, man. I know, I know, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm just giving Jacob like special thanks, and he's still part of the team. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that because I I do want to bring up that I have not really like you. You guys are like you know. I sometimes feel like I don't deserve to be here because I'm like, I don't, you guys have worked, been, been working on this audio drama. When I was working on this, I wasn't, it was a game. So, um, yeah, I'm very thankful that you guys invited me here. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> do we have any other questions? Uh, Wendy, do you have any questions? Uh, no, not really. Not, uh, nothing I can think of anyway to ask. I meant like in the um, in the audience. Is it, is the their question. Okay, we do have a question here from Dino Kaiju. I'm gonna call him up real quick. We can bring them on board. Okie dokie. Hello, Hello, everyone. Hey, Dino. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. How's the Saturday going? Hello there. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, it's been doing good. The Saturday's been doing good and all that stuff, and good to see everyone here. You know, Doc and all that, and Goken, Landy, MC, J, Flicker. Hope everyone's doing uh, having a good Saturday as well. We were doing phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping you're having a good one too. Mm -hmm. Doing okay. Thank you. All right, so uh, I actually have a question because um, I actually have rewatched the, uh, the 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 episode again uh, in a, uh, for the occasion for today, and I'm quite curious uh, if you could answer uh, if the artists can answer this. Um, so I'm quite curious, you know. Um, so when watching the uh, the episode of the of the show, uh, I know I obviously I think one, one thing that people notice is the the difference in the art styles and whatnot. Like one time it's like a still image, but then there are other times where like there's like animation, like especially that um I mean without going into too many spoilers, uh just in case, if you know, you know. Huh? So uh how's the process of going through that? Like choosing what to be an animation or choosing what to be like a comic style um image. Like how is that process for you? So from what so based on what you were asking me, so what happens is, is like I get to choose when we when I go through the script, I choose a scene what is best for either animation and what is best for different art styles. Because I did mention this before from the back when I when we were taught when it was an artist question. I always allow artists to choose which scene what they want to do. You know, there are also times when I had to do line art and and 
one of the and one of the artists and I let the artists do their do their just color everything because you know it's like it's like a collaboration. So however when it comes to animation there's it all depends on what what the artist wants to do because for example I had I have one artist who sometimes wants to do cuts like you know just drawings and animation and we also had a sprite animator because I and I told that makes because I cho- told that sprite animator to do that scene because that fits more. Mm-hmm. Yes, and there were also moments where I had to, there if there were comic scenes that relates to like every time when there was action scenes, it's always comic scene. It's like a comic style, you know. And I took inspiration from Adrenaline Dubs, by the way. Nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, like basically when it comes to art, it's always about, you know, working together. That's what I want. We're not like competing with each other. We're just basically just, we're just setting a goal to get that, to get that part task done. And I'm helping them. And to second that, um, I mean, I'm just speaking in general from, from my experience working as an audio drama, like I agree with Goken there because uh, from, from working on this other auto drama, um, typically we're not like, "Hey, you need to do animation for this," or you know, he, "Here's a, where you want we want you to do animation." There are two. There are two people that work on our on on this other show I'm working on that 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 sort of I want to do animation. I want to do this, blah, blah blah blah, and then they make it amazing. Like I typically we typically don't say. Um, I mean, this is from my experience. Like, hey, this scene would be great if it was animated. They're, they kind of volunteer that um, their skills and stuff. I don't know if that's the same for for um, for your guys uh, for this project, but I mean, um, I have to agree. I, I do want to mention this with this with also what Jacob mentioned. It's similar to how other MLP audio dramas do. Like you know, we choose this ta- we choose that scene if if the lead director allows us to choose allows us to choose. So you know. Uh, during that time when I used to, when I'm still working for MLP Audio Dramas, I'm kind of following the same way, like, you know, the same system on how this works. Cause you know, it's cause you know, for example, I also, I, it's the situation I had to work with. I had to like collaborate with Obab Scribbler with one of her audio dramas. She, Ooh, I know. so like, like there was one artist who can't do her part and I volunteered, you know? Oh, interesting. But yeah. Um, does anyone of the, oh, any of the artists want to add on to that? I actually was going to uh, second on yours, Flickr. Uh, as someone who has also worked on other audio dramas, uh, specifically the one that just released uh, season two of our series, Dancing with the Shadows by Vocal <gasps> Sweets. No way. You work for Dancing Ooh. with the Shadows? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's really funny. I, I just yeah. edited. I just added a part of the newest episode. Anyways, continue. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, thank you. What a um, t- but yes. Um, hmm? What a tweet. <laughs> but yes, um, it is definitely quite an experience of wanting to work with multiple people. But as someone who grew up with watching what's called uh, MAPs, of course, everyone that grew up with YouTube knows about this of multiple animator projects. It's just kind of like that, except it's like an animatic style slash like what I've grown up with, with just audio drama. And it's always been my imagination to imagine like what their scene is or what the character looks like. So for me to actually live my dream that I've wanted to be in, in audio dramas and actually draw to do that stuff... It has always been like a full on dream come true. And for me to be a part of this team and so many others, I'm so grateful for that. And I can definitely agree that it's so difficult to choose whose style fits whose. But as someone who's been a part of it, I'm slowly starting to remember and realize that, oh my goodness, excuse me, that yes, this is like someone's art style and it definitely would fit the scene. That makes sense, actually. Uh, anything you have to say, Doc? Um, well, yeah. Um, well, first of all, um, I'm, <clears throat> uh, when I, um, uh, I, I can understand the uh, feeling well, J.A., about, uh, being part of the audio drama. And also, 
I, I happen to be working for Elements of Justice, and I still work with them currently at the same time with Sonic Quest for Harmony. And uh, so just, just having to like decide between like, like, uh, like the still frame of audio drama and animations, uh, what matters is that we both like is just collaborating with the whole team on the style that that fits with all of us. And so, so, and at the very least, I'm still like, like I said, playing a part in history of, of both MLP and the Sonic fandom. So, mm-hmm. so, um, it, that's, I, I'm sorry if I was rambling here. I'm just full of emotions. Okay. Don't be, man. It's fine. fine. It's totally fine. We it's love fine. you, Doc. We're here for you. We yeah. appreciate you so much. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> uh, what matters is that at the very least, I'm playing a part in making this, like, Gokin's uh, dream a uh, reality, you know. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So does that, answer, does that answer your question? I know. Yeah, that answers perfectly. Um, yeah, I guess that, yeah, that does answer my question. Uh, yeah, thank you for the answer. And uh, if I get another question, I'll just raise my hand once again. And uh, yeah, and uh, best of luck with the project. Talk to you later. Talk to you la- we are uh, still, thanks for coming by. Yeah. It. Thanks for the question, Dino. Anyway, right now I have a text question from Zen Jackson 1059 How long is the series going to be, and when is the next one coming out? Oh, so. Oh, the classic yeah, question. So, <laughs> so, I got, we got this question a lot of times in the first mm-hmm. episode and the community post on YouTube. And I'm not surprised, obviously. So, I do want to say the episode two is already in development. Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. got like around like ninety percent of voice voice lines put up. We we'll, we just only have to wait for two more. We have to wait for two more voice actors to deliver some of their lines. Yep, yep, yep. So fun fact: we, Twilight Sparkles voice act vo- lines have finally been submitted. So I heard it. Really love. Woo! I really love Nicola Burr. Mm-hmm. She has been with us for a while. Yay! Yeah. So, all right. Anyways, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the storyboards are still in the works. So, and the editing is already started as well. It, the only thing I'm waiting for right now is I need more assets just so that I can add, add it into the video. So, yeah. And, and, the, and the next question about how long is it going to take? I am planning to release, this was originally planned to have nine episodes in total. However, it is 10, and that's the reason why the New Horizons Part 2 is the next episode, because that was supposed to be episode one altogether, because it was so long, so we decided to make it an episode part two. So yeah, their total amount is 10 episodes, so, so it's going to be a long way ahead. But, you know, we're looking forward to the future of Sonic Quest for Harmony, other than that. But yeah, that's, there's my answer on uh, is there anything else you all want to say, too? Go ahead. So nervous sighted. <laughs> uh, well, typically, it, it, it differs from, like, how often, you know, episodes, you know. So, uh, I'm not sure, you know, if you guys have, like, a set schedule as to when, um, like, ah, oh, this is where, when we want this episode to come out. But uh, typically, it'll be, you know, it'll come out. In your lifetime, so don't worry. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. okay. Kind of like how DW, kind of like how Dancing with the Shadows fans have to, have like, to wait. Yeah, you don't have this ever. <laughs> I'm not throwing shade at Vocal Suite. I yeah. promise you. Otherwise, she would oh. whoop my butt. <laughs> so Snoopy bad. Will, Snoopy would shit, blow shade. I'm sorry. By the no, way, Snoopy, really funny. Snoopy, yeah. Snoopy's actually in the audience. By the way, yeah, 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 I noticed. Sorry, Snoopy. We love you. Hi, Snoopy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I love Everyone. That. <laughs> but yeah, like. Um, it's kind of normal hey, for everyone. No. Um, if it's it's mainly normal to since pro, since every project, fan projects usually happen to be very big. Patience is the virtue. We must remember. Amen, that. That. Amen brother. So yeah, Doc, do you have anything to say? Um, no, nothing. 
Not really. All right. Thanks for your question. Anyway, it looks like we have an audience member wanting to ask a question. Landy, would you care to do the honors? Yeah, it looks to be uh, Kevin, I think. That's what I'm saying. All right. Bring him on board. Hello there. Look, everyone. Kevin's back. Hi, Kevin. Hey, what's up, dude? Funny, it's right before you call me up, I, I said out loud, like, wait for it, because I was, I was just back saying that. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, Kevin. Like we love you. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Um, I, I do. Uh, my question is, like, I know fans have always done like a lot of crossover between MLP and Sonic, but we're like, there one in particular that they never done, or one that you really like that that you want like, okay, we have to put this into the series. I'm very curious. Like, could you elaborate the question again? Because I'm kind of lost. Oh, okay. So. Like, I know fans have done very, like, have done crossover between, like, say, MLP and John, Sonic characters, you know, through fan art or fan or other fan content. But was there, like, a particular crossover between, like, a like a certain MLP character and a certain Sonic character that, a, that has never been done or one that you really like and that you really wanted to include in Quest, uh, Quest for Harmony? I mean, oh yeah, that is actually a really good question, but I'm just going to have to say, I would actually say this. I'm not guaranteeing that this will not be in Sonic Quest for Harmony, but if it would actually happen, I would actually consider Starlight Glimmer and Shadow. That would be an attractive one. one. Because here's a surprise. Because here's the thing. Because Shadow has a really bad past with his history with Maria when he lost her as when he lost her as a friend. Similar to Starlight Glimmer, for those who have not seen so for those who have seen the season five, the finale, like you know, she lost she thought she lost her friend Sunburst. They had to go through a dark time, you know. And you know, the it's it's similar like it's like how Twilight and Starlight had a match fight with each other. Same thing with Sonic and Shadow having a fight with each other. So, you know, I think that, you know, Shadow and Starlight would actually have a strong bond to each other. You know, I'm not going to, I'm, and it's funny you're asking this because I've already planned this out throughout the next few episodes. There's going to be like, you know, a strong bond between two characters that you may or may not have seen before. It won't be because, you know, for example, for example, we take we there's always Tales and Fluttershy or Cream or Fluttershy or Rarity mm-hmm. Rouge or whatever that is like it's. But to answer this, to actually answer this question, my opinion is just Shadow and Starlight. If that happened, I would love to see because I, I would I just want to see how they interact. Mm-hmm. Do you have any, do you do you three have anything? The bond is called friendship. Oh, like I can think yeah. of. But yeah, like, do you all have any char- two characters from a di- like for both Sonic and LP that has this kind of, that would have a strong bond? Um, well, like I've seen. Oh, so sorry. If no, I, no, 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 you guys go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'd say that I think I've seen from a pretty popular um MLP YouTuber that was from long ago. I have seen his um. His videos of what was Sonic versus Rainbow Dash or Applejack versus Knuckles. I but I definitely that it's that one person. But yeah, um, I'd say I definitely would agree by by me who's loved season five and onward, especially because of the intro the intro to Starlight, because oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but like just seeing her and like also now getting to know more about Sonic and especially like more of the stuff that's happening in in Sonic, especially what's going to happen in Sonic Three, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused how people are excited to see a child um die. Whoa, <laughs> dude! I no, guess I'm, that's I'm what's jumping, happening. I'm jumping off my seat when that happens. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm yeah, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As an MLP fan, I'm like I'm I'm I know. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit confused. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that was um, me during the movie. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I will not appreciate it if you guys just say Sonic and Rainbow Dash. Here's here's what I want to no, say. Um, 
Sonic. Oh, Flicker, uh, take the mic. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it with you. <laughs> don't uh, be. It's okay. No. Uh, Sonic and, and MLP have always, you know, you can, you see that crossover a lot, like a lot, a lot. And there's a reason for that. There are so many similarities to each of the characters that it's just kind of hard not to um, compare. And, and like the, the elements of harmony and the chaos, I was like, come on. Like it's, the it's, symbolism. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So you can really <laughs> say like the, each character, you know, what, what, what I'm sure would have a bond in that sense. I'm not sure where the story is is going to be going, but um, I'm sure, I'm sure things will happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm amazed to this very day they never did an official crossover, like not even yeah. any any the IDW comic. Like they never went with Transformers and MLP, but they never did one with Sonic. Yeah, I found uh, that kind of weird as well. I mean, I agree oh, because yeah. here's the thing: Ian Flynn actually got involved with My Little Pony comics, like you know the mm-hmm. Young Six, and mm-hmm. also the Transformers crossover. And yet, sadly, we're not getting it, a crossover between these two franchises by Ian Flynn. So that's why I'm doing it for the sake. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey leave, leave it to the fan. Don't do it. But anyway, thank you for answering my question. Uh, that, that was a very interesting answer. Uh, I mean, that's what yeah, Cole can be doing. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, sure. But, but, but Doc <laughs> wanted to say something. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, I was going to. Yeah. For so. Um. Um. I agree. Like my little pony and Sonic, they both mix. And um, th- your question about. Which two characters from one or the other? Um, like for Sonic on Sonic side, can we also choose like a comic characters as well to mix with the My Little Pony character? Or, uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, your call, Goken, on that, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, what, am I, what, what did I miss? He was uh, he was go? asking if uh, oh. he was asking if uh, he can include comic characters with his, uh, in terms of the idea you're talking about. Oh. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I won't guarantee any comic characters in the series because I'm kind of like strict, strictly moving forward to just mostly just the game canon. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Also, bringing in comic characters would kind of would feel kind of cluttery i feel like like there's already a lot going on you know right so. okay just wanted to make sure first that's all that's all good you know mm-hmm. all right thanks for the question kevin yeah thank, thanks for answering thank you, thank you so much thank you all right uh, so can you looks like we have a hand raised right here uh doc you mind bringing them up okay um uh, how do I uh, how do I bring them? Um, how do I bring them up again? Oh, you can open up the uh, you can up the audience panel. Oh yeah, I think they say in a voice can, call can you can listen them. in. Uh, um, 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 I got it now. There we go. Good job, Doc. Welcome. Um, uh, I believe that. Hello. We can't hear you. Yeah, the mic's not working either. Yeah, he said the mic is not working, and oh. the question. And I actually read. I actually read. I saw his question. He's saying why was so. The question was why was the audio mixing so inconsistent? Well, to answer your question, I'm just going to say the re- the reason why it's there are, there were inconsistent audios is because there were many audio engineers that got involved as well, and the, mostly so including myself. So there are moment there are are audios that aren't as perfect as you think it's not going to be. But the, you know, the thing is there were audio fixes that were done. Like there were like the one who does most of the audio fixes so far, right before I finalized this fine. I finalized everything. What, um, I believe it. Gabishai was the one who did a lot of audio fixes just to make sure it's completely in, up to the mark. And also, secondly, we didn't have enough audio engineers as we think as we should have. So, it is. I know it's not really this perfect. So, we are currently in the progress of 
getting a lot of fix, get, fixing these audios, you know. I'm not really much of an audio engineer myself, but, you know, there are, there are, there are moments, that's kind of the reason why, you know, I have audio, I have, like, you know, engineers who are helping me out, like, you know, but we're still looking, we are still looking for more people to help out to make improvements for the next episode. So, yeah. So, so my apologies if you feel that this, if that the audio isn't, is too inconsistent. We're just doing our best. Yeah. And, and by the episodes, you know, as episodes go on, it'll get better. And it's the yep. first episode. It is the first episode. So there will be a mo- There will be a moment that there will be moment. There will be a, there's going to be a lot of flaws. And I appreciate the, I, I actually appreciate the music choices that you, the compliment the music choices. It, it was actually cho- chosen by Gabashai before back then. So, yeah. Yeah, audio mixing is really difficult. That's uh, that's all. That's that's my professional opinion. Tell me about it. Mm. Oh yeah, like there's two, and especially with the person who does everything on the video. <laughs> yep. Anyway, thanks for your question. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. So maybe yeah. who's next to choose? Right, I could bring up. I could bring up Snoopy. Yeah, Snoopy's got um, well, let's bring up Snoopy over here. Come on up. Let's bring up the Snoopster. Crap! I need to see how to how to add. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I got it covered. Don't worry. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I like. I also do help the card. Hey, Snoopy. Hey, Snoopy. Hi. It's Does she know your mic is muted? Hi. <laughs> it was nice meeting you last weekend. I, can't, I had a great time hanging out with you. I know. I'm sorry we couldn't hang out more, but it was really nice to meet you in person. It's um, I mean the same here. Like you know, I actually got to hang out with the audio drama crew, and it was a great time. Thank you. Like, yeah. But you know, being in a different state. <laughs> yeah, thank you for inspiring me. By the way, yeah. I've been watching. Yeah. The you hear that? You are an inspiration. You hear that? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's why I do. Everyone give the spotlight to Snoopy now. <laughs> Anywho, so Anywho, yes. business. Jacob, so Jacob, would you like to ask her? Do you have any questions? Yes, Snoopy. What is your question? Um, I guess I'm curious about if, um, I know you guys mentioned about not including some characters from, like, the comics and whatnot, but, um, what about Sally Acorn? Um, I don't know. Sally I really like her. I, yeah, I, I like the dynamic with Sonic in the, um, what is it, the Archie comics? Um, from the Archie, yeah. I don't know. I really hate to say this, but <laughs> unfortunately, oh. as I mentioned before, there will be only sticking into game the game lore. So if I can, not. I can do my so unfortunately I think she will not be involved in the story, but <laughs> I might consider her putting her as a cameo. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was it's on a spitball after all. Yeah. Because, like, I know everybody <laughs> loves Sally Acorn. I myself love her so much from Sonic Sat AM back then. And you just speed ran losing like a, a, a billion subscribers yeah. for, for not including Sally. Amy, <laughs> Amy's got nothing on Sally. I'm just saying, all right? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 like at least from my research, like I, because like I like both ships of like um, Sally and Sonic, but I also like Amy and Sonic. It just depends on like yeah. what timeline, yeah. what universe we're talking about. Because as they've mentioned, that the games are completely different, if not separate from the comics. Um, yeah. So it's like yeah. um, Amy is pretty much involved in the games, and even to some by extension some of the newer tv shows while sally is more constricted in the comics but she had her debut what, what was it in the 80s maybe 90s that one sonic series um that would have yeah. been the 90s yes yeah that was the 90s so like sonic characters are really great yeah mm. but yeah like 
as I want to mention, I will find a way to get her in as a cameo appearance because, you know, I do want to make sh- I still want to let the fans yeah. get to have the opportunity to see her in. I'm not going to shoehorn her so much, you know. I got to find ways to fill her in because, you know, this is what I did because that's what I did when I released episode zero, which was technically the teaser for I added Chris Thorndike as a po- as a unicorn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yep. What? Yes. It's Chris Thorndike from Sonic X. Mm hmm. Huh. Interesting choice, Oaken. Interesting choice. Honestly, honestly, and that's, also, that's and surprising. Also, and also Sarah from Sonic OVA. Ah. Hmm. Right. Who, the heck, who the heck is Sarah? Who is yeah, Sarah? Oh, wait a minute. She's I know like, who you talk about. Isn't she like the print, like the daughter the, of like the. Never mind. President. Daughter of the president, I think. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. That's funny. She was kidnapped by Doctor Eggman in that movie, and um, um, never. I don't want to spoil it. We're getting off track. We're getting off track. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just only saying that she's also included in the 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 prologue episode. But yeah, mm-hmm. is there anything else you all want to say? Mention about her question about Snoopy's question. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Snoopy, for stopping by. Thank yes. you, Snoopy. Thank you so much, Snoopy, for coming by. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for your question. Thank you, guys. All right. You guys have a good Q&A. Yep. Bye. 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 Oh, Sally or Amy, that's a hard question. Depends on yeah. who I'm trolling. Yes, that's my answer. <laughs> oh, um, you gotta yeah. get rid. Of, you gotta get rid of her. Let's rephrase that. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just that. messing. Snoopy Jacob. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for the question. Hmm? Hmm. Otherwise, we got two more here in the audience. audience. Okay, there yeah. we go. Yes. Uh, go All get right, so my next person. Go get my next person. We got next three person. people. Okay, do you want me to choose now? Yep, go ahead. Me, 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 yeah, go ahead. Mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Hi, Mondo. Get over here. Oh no! <laughs> Kidding. Hey, hey, hey Diamondo. Diamondo. Yeah, I'm kind of having hey. dinner and uh, feeding dogs. So, doggies. <laughs> as you all know, I'm actually uh, one of the illustrators for the project. But in a usual twist, I want I want you to ask me the question. What do you I think? I mean, you have to ask me. Uh, I mean, us. Not. Uh, I, got a, oh, I, got a, I got a question for you. What's your problem? No, I'm kidding. Don't do Oh, he's gone rogue. By the way, uh, actually, there is one curious question. If you could bring any My Little Pony villain just to, uh, you know, just just to give uh, Sonic and uh, Domain Six a hard time, who would it be? King Sombra. Um, who? King Sombra. She she said. Um, that are honestly the Storm King because literally we need more lore about him and we oh. literally could have had the whole we could have had this whole arc of of the amazing backstory that could have happened that instead turned into Tempest Shadow. Yeah, and instead we just got a a cocky little villain named the Storm King. You know, the Storm King uh-huh. is a joke. Yep. Um, for me, it's, <laughs> he's honestly a joke. For me, it's my favorite uh, villain. And you gotta, you're either gonna laugh at me or be like, "Oh, that's what's up." Uh, Cozy Glow. Mm. By all means, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cozy mm. Glow. She's my favorite. Uh, uh, so it's uh, unexpected and manipulative. Anyways, oh, oh, mm. J A, you have a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe I do. Oh, Let's fight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. Okay, but I, I know that honestly that they, that this is Diamondo's question, and I completely understand that. It's just for me. I just don't know why they literally had to include a child, but it is understandable why? if it was. Yeah, I get it, but it's also probably because you're a Pegasus. I'm kidding. Wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, promise. <laughs> no. Um. I don't know. She just she just entertains me. Um. Yeah, I think it was kind of messed up that they that they stoned her, but. Uh, I mean, hey, and not in the bad, and not in the other you, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, you, you do the you, you know you do the crime, you do the time, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's either Storm King, Cozy Glow, or whatever you guys want to pick. 
Hmm. Uh, Logan, do you want it? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Can you rephrase that? Qu- can you re? Can what was the question again? Because I'm if all. If you could bring any villain into uh, into this special series, what would it be? From My Little Pony. For me, oh, Jacob me. and J A just stole my answer. So <laughs> no one. Like, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> so you so maybe because I know there are like a lot of villains that I know that I'm planning to put in, but I'm not going to mention it. I'm uh, going to for me. I'm just probably going to say is oh boy, it's hard. <laughs> okay, fine, cozy glow. I'll say the same thing. <laughs> Would you be okay if I answer my question as well? Yes, that uh, is because one of Here's the reason. Uh, Cozy Glow is smart than Chrysalis than T- and T-Rex. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. shade on the older ones. <laughs> like, she and second, and all, oh yeah, now that I think about it, Grogar. Grogar! Oh, Gro- Gro- yeah. Yeah. No, Grogar. Dude, Grogar we could have had more of him. Cause, cause uh, exactly. I, I, almost, I wanted to mention this. Here's the thing. Eggman could bring him back with the power of the elements of harmony and chaos emeralds. Yeah. He could do that. And Sonic, Dash, Sonic and Twilight or Rainbow Dash could do to the super form and defeat him. That's it. Plus, we get to see more of Grogar's powers. I mean, he's got yeah, a reason. Yeah, because wow. clearly Discord didn't show yeah. any. Because think about it. Like, he did the same exact thing in Sonic Unleashed when Eggman, when he uses the chaos emeralds to form, to, to, un, to, Awaken the Dark Gaia. He could do that with Grogar. Yep. You sure you're not he was just giving everybody the... a major spoiler for the series right now? This is not going to happen. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, and also, mm. Dr. Grogar is called the father of monsters for a reason. Yeah, that'd be, the that'd be some crazy. That'd be some crazy clever stuff, though. If you like, you say it's not going to happen and it does happen, that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not like like I said. I'm not going to talk about what's actually going to happen in Sonic Quest. Don't jinx it. Do you, it. It. Do you just, already have? Do you already have the whole series planned out? Yes, it is. But you know, we are we are currently doing some re. They're fixing the plot holes. But okay. what I'm saying actually is like you know what like it's an all it's like what if it, it's going to happen? So yeah. Would it be okay if I answered my own question as well? Yes, go right ahead. Sure, go ahead, yeah. sure. I have a bit of a generation one bias when it comes to My Little Pony, but you always obviously know what my answer would be, Lord T Rex. No, totally Ooh. valid. Yep. I've been seeing I've been seeing especially what has been happening in um there actually is the MLP manga and it actually shows that um there's what? a side there's oh a side God. um thing that happens. Yes, there is a manga version of My Little Pony. It's it's really cute style. Anyway, I have actually seen that um t- that uh, Discord like managed to manage to separate the elements of harmony in different alternate universes. And actually, the element of magic appears in Generation One, and apparently Tirek gets a hold of it. But of course, the ponies are all laughing and like, "Tee It's like he's wearing a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> now, it does make me wish to see uh, G One and G Four Tirek meet each other. But, Do you know what? That would actually be really cool. Yeah, I wish for mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. But yeah, thank you so much, Diamondo, for the question. That is and very I'll see interesting. You on the flip side. Also, Take care. Give, so give it up for Diamondo. He is, he is one of the artists for our product for Sonic Quest for Harmony. Yeah. Yeah, Diamondo. Very nice. Thanks for the question. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mike, Mike Saber is up next because he was. Excuse me. Very good. Uh, I mean, how exactly do you? Bring someone in here. I want to. I want to help. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't figured that out either, to be honest. Hit the, like, I just, hit, hit, hit the raise just, hand icon on the top left if you're not on. If you're on, unless you're on phone. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very it's very difficult for me to press. Huh. Hello. 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 Hey, Mike. Crossbreak Studios. Uh, Crossbreak Studios. Oh yeah, Crossbreak Studios. Um, Hello. If you bring back a Sonic villain besides Eggman, who would you bring back? Mm-hmm. Didn't we just answer this question? It's a My Little Pony oh, one. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, Sonic oh, villain. Duh. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. My brain. I just heard villains, and that's all. Okay. Oh, that's all good. You're fine, Flicker. <laughs> um, well, 
There's chaos. Yes, but he is he's already in the afterlife with Tikal. Um Oh, yeah, he kinda is. Wait, are, are we asking what Sonic villain Sonic, Sonic villain we bring back from the dead? Yeah. Yeah, Sonic villain. Oh, Since we just talked about MLP shoot. once. Oh shoot. I'm just we, gonna we, leave we, this we, one we, to we, you guys. We, <laughs> Sonic villain we bring to the series or back from the dead? Both. Okay. Um well, shoot. <laughs> uh, Just immediate brain fart. Yeah, I'm not really. I don't. I'm not really attached to many of the Sonic villains. Like I remember the Deadly Six. I remember uh, mm-hmm. Sage um, from Frontiers. There's a uh, what else is there? Meadow Sonic. Oh, there's a uh, there's Mephiles Mephiles the Dark from yeah, from Sonic yeah. Six. Um, he killed Sonic. There's uh yeah I can't think of anybody else. I'll I'll say um but the only one that, I, that I'm really close to is Chaos. Um, like I loved Chaos as a kid. He he was super cool. Uh, but that's I don't know if that's gonna be able to answer the answer. I just hmm. that's what I'll say. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh wait, how, there's uh, I'm sorry. Uh, You're good. Uh, I was going to mention that there's also oh the, infinite. Uh, Infinite. Oh yeah, infinite. Continue. But I was going to mention corrupted King Arthur from Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good one. One. yeah. he's got. He carries a really big sword, and he can summon like a whole army of Dark Knights. Wait, and what was that? Yeah. What was that girl who? Spoilers for Sonic and the Black Knight. Uh, uh, Merlina. <laughs> Merlina. Merlina. Yeah. Merlina. Yeah. Oh, I do not understand. There's also. Eraser Jin, true from Secret yeah. Rings. Yeah, yes. there are a lot of villains. Hey, do you have anything? Huh? Do you have anything about any Sonic villains? Unless you don't know, unless you don't, unless you don't really have to. I'm oh, sorry. This whole entire talk was having my was having the Wii music in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. But do you have anything? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, mind if I say it then? Go right ahead, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be saying my edgy answer. Infinite. Oh, that's a mm-hmm. good one. Yeah. Here's the thing: the quest for harmony is not did not take place after Sonic Forces. That's why. Yeah, yeah that that that. Uh, be right back. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks for your answer. Thanks for your question, Mike. Anytime. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, right. mm, let's see. It seems like we have uh, two more people. Yes. Uh, I don't want to ask a question, next. and we Tails got Tailsco. Okay. Let's bring Tailsco. Oh, I got it. And uh, Mike still needs to get off the. Oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. If I can tap it. Oh my goodness! Eh. Someone else get it, please. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm I'm Did having you? trouble with the hand too. This is very specific. I'm trying you really hard. Uh, hang on. I'm getting my phone. Uh, who is it? Teosco? Yeah. Yes. I got it. There we go. Hi right there. Hey, Teosco. How you doing? Hello. How you doing, game? Hello. Welcome. Okay, since I'm a huge fan of my pony and Sonic, how did they make the art designs? Huh? Uh, what? Can you question, can you elaborate the question again, please? How did they make the art designs? Why can you define what art designs like specific? As you know, it's kind of a vague question. Uh, the art design of Sonic and Monopony. Uh, that's a question for the creators of those respective series, I think. Oh, no, so are you talking about like what? Um, I mean, do do you practice. just mean like how uh, how the artists on the Quest for Harmony team like figure out the way to? Uh, Interpret them on a per scene basis? Yeah. I mean, I did mention about how our art collaboration works, but you know, as I mentioned before, like, you know, like, our, we basically just do, we just basically, like, you know, some, like, there are, there are, there are artists who actually work on the, a specific scene, and you know, which is why you see a lot of different art styles, because it is similar to a lot of MLP audio dramas, where you see where the 
where the where the first art style transitions to another art style. So you know, there also a, there's also a scene which is co- which is done by two p two or three people. One is did the character, one did the line art, one did the color, one did the background, and all. So they're also and specific, when you describe about art designs, we are also we also did are doing concept art, you know, like you know, character designs, basically. Mm-hmm. So like because you know, we are also because you know there are art des- character des- art designs, as you mentioned, that we that would be used that, and we could just put them into the scene because you know, what if there is a there, where what if there is a character that is very unique, so like an original character, for example, L- like a unique robot design. We have to design that. So yeah, that's kind of like it's. It takes more time to design. Take more time to get the design really correct, just so that we to make sure we that the Bolt Sonic and My Little Pony work out together. You know, it takes a lot of hard work on doing this art design. So yeah, yeah I want to second um, Goken on that really quick. Uh, as someone who has never drawn Sonic, it is very difficult. So I had to literally show Goken Doc. Uh, I had to literally show both of them, like, especially in, in, like, our own specific group. I had to show them specifically, like, how good my, sh- my, uh, what is it? Like, my work in progress. Because as someone who has always drawn MOP, it is very difficult for me to join, to draw something new. So, I definitely took a lot of practice, and thanks to uh, a roommate of mine who actually it has been a part of the Sonic fandom for a while um then like then they also gave me some help on that so it's it's kind of difficult but then you get used to it especially when you're a part of a team like this yep doc do you have anything um repeat the question again please um what uh, was it like how did you get the art style ah yeah incorporating the sonic pony art styles yeah i Honestly, um, uh, my answer is that I was, I'm kind of a, so I've been drawing Sonic for a long time and I've animated him a few times on my flipper clip. I, I don't mean to brag, but, uh, but also my little pony, um, I've, um, so I've done, uh, so I'm going to be real. Sometimes I have to like, like start from the ground up and sketch and practice some more uh, as well. But I, I mostly draw Spike. But for the pony characters, I just had to like, I just like had to like learn and just keep practicing until I eventually get better. Mm-hmm. All right, good answers. Anyway, thanks for the question, Tailsco. Thanks for the question, Tailsco. So uh, we go back to the audience. Yeah. Oh, and then we also got uh, Dino asking another question. Before we we answer that, I actually have a question of my own. Oh, sure. Go right ahead. 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 After Teosco exits the stage. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, this is my question. You had mentioned that this takes place before Sonic Forces. When exactly does this take place in the timeline, the Sonic timeline, and what was the decision behind that? So, um, as I as I meant, so as I so as I did mention this before, so on every episode, at, at the first two episodes, episode zero and episode one, there is a disclaimer that says the story takes place after Sonic Lost World. So this means that well, the reason why so the reason why is is that. I want I like during the development of this project, I've always wanted to make like you know, make an IRL timeline on the time when Sonic game releases and when that MLP episode releases. Because you know, like because you know, Sonic Lost World came out in 2013, while the My Little Pony season five finale came out in 2015. This was the time mm-hmm. when Sonic Boom was a thing. And that was a time when Sonic Forces was in development before it wasn't officially announced. So, and also for the story, mo- for the story side, 
I feel that like I feel that this it it would actually a great be a great fit to be in to be in that specific story timeline because you know that scene because the episode one is literally the scene the starting of the season five finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So I feel like you know in my opinion that would be the best play best timeline to start this crossover just so that we can make a sto- the story really unique. I'm not going to go further with the story, but you know, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So yeah. Very interesting answer. Thank you. And you know anyway, now we bring up Diagon Kaiju. Go mom back up. Yep. Welcome. Right, back. Welcome. Yeah. Back. I am back welcome again. Back. <laughs> well, welcome yeah. back. Whoa, I'm <laughs> me. Yeah, before. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I know, I know. Okay. Anyway, so um, okay. So my question actually this time is around is actually on the voice acting side of things. If um, if you guys don't mind. So uh, how was it for you guys uh, searching for the right voices of? Um, for uh, for a lot of the characters, and uh, and I know Landy, I, I'm pre- You can answer this as well, uh, Landy, since you're pretty much the voice of Sonic. Or in a way as well, uh, how did you get involved into the project? What were the like auditions or something like that? Excuse me, really quick. Oh, I, I honestly don't remember. I think Gokin would be better at answering that, and if he can. I mean, okay, to answer your question, okay, I'll help out. So, um, it's. What Matt, what I believe back then, because that was a time when I was actually work I was actually looking for voice actors back then to make sure they fit the character. So so what I do actually is first of all, I make sure the script is completely finished first. And then once that's finalized, that is when I start the casting call of the voice actors. So what I do. Um, what I do mostly is cast is open a casting call on a casting call website and allowing, and, and then I allow everybody submitting their lines already, you know? So unless there is a voice actor, I already know and I believe he's immediately a great fit. Like for example, MC voices, he like, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a cue bot, so I immediately got him in. Yep. And yes, the same thing. And same thing with Landy. I think he's a great Sonic. You know what? Let him get him in too. <laughs> That's kind of what I am. So, however, as much as I would say, I don't ask for perfection in a voice for for a specific character for both Sonic My Little Pony. I just don't care. It's as long as you know how to do the character, and as long as you mat, as long as you do the role. I'm not really expecting the exact voice, the exact, the exact impression of the actual voice act. Like for example, you know, uh, like for example, let's take let's take Celestia as an example, who is voiced by Nicole Oliver, and the fan voice is I am Shadow, I am Shadow Double Osa, who recently was a voice of, who recently just got the role as Celestia for EOJ, Elements of Justice. She, it is similar to Nicole Oliver's impression. For me, in my opinion, I'm not looking too much into that, you know, because here's the thing. Twilight Spark, Tara Strong's Twilight Sparkles impression is completely unique. It's hard to do it exactly like Tara Strong's Twilight. So, again, as long as you know how to do the character, you'll have higher chances. Does anybody? So, yeah, that's kind of like what that's kind of like what I think. Jake, so yeah, Jacob, Doc, Jay, you're more than welcome to say something too. I mean, yeah, what what Goken said, like um, MLP voice is typically like, okay, here's a good example. You know, um, I feel like the MLP voices, you know, for G4 are really unique. Um, so they're they're like uh, I mean are really like they're they're easy to kind of replicate like they have they have certain you know tones that you know um is being you know it, you could hear the voice and be like I can try and make a yeah, replicate that voice whereas if like let's say um if if you just use if you're just some person using their your regular talking voice like me for example like 
no one here can do a good Jacob impression. Like, <laughs> I can tell you that right now because it's super. Uh, okay, and if I do like, hey guys, what's up? Then I'm sure you guys can probably try and copy the way I do that and make a good impression of what I just did. It's, it's interesting, you know. Um, so, but it all, you know, depends on. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, you know. What was the like specific? I like was zoning out. What was the exact question? Again, because I was just going off of what Goken said. I don't remember what you said, Dino. Uh, it's mostly about like how was the uh, f- uh, process of finding the uh, the uh, gra- uh, the process of uh, finding good voices for most of the characters and stuff like that. Like mostly, I mean, again, like for Sonic, it's pretty easy. Again, we got Landy, but I but I'm interested on finding the um, um, especially like with the uh, the MLP characters because watching the sh- the uh, the episode, like a lot of some of the voice acting is very spot on. Like especially like um, rarities, like when I hear like oh yeah that's rarity <laughs> so starlight starlight is one of the hardest mlp voice actor like voice actresses to find like, like, it, it, it is so when we and yeah you guys must be happy you have jay yeah because because oh because well yeah because it's hard to find a starlight voice actress that's all i'll say um you got like yeah because because it honestly starlight is just kelly sheridan like <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna just say it um but yeah anyways Mm-hmm. Because yeah, like as I said, like MLP voiceovers, they're not easy to match. So that's why I'm saying, just if we feel that if we think that you're a great fit for that character, we'll get you in. That's how it is. And I assume also dip- if you like, if you handle the personality, then you are picked for the voice. Something like that. There you go. Mm-hmm. And that is correct. Yeah, agreed. Yep. Yeah, you tell him, Doc. Oh, hi, Big <laughs> oh, oh, Mac. Big Mac. <laughs> um, Wait, how are there two Macs? Was... How are there two Macs in the room? Yeah, I thought Big. I thought Goken was Big Mac. Wait, who's Big Mac? Mac. That's, That's a like... long story. <laughs> but I don't oh, care okay. oh, oh boy! Oh, I, I've, got, I've got time. I got time. I was gonna I say time. one is one is a. I was gonna say one is a recurring VA <laughs> and the other is a cosplayer. Oh, uh, that's really funny. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, acting is not. Right. <laughs> Voice acting is not my impression, okay? I, I, I'm, it's not my profession. I only do impressions just to tell jokes, like we're, we're doing right now. <laughs> oh, but Doc, you were great at it. That was about amazing. A about a joke to you. No, Discord, get out of here. Get out. No, no, no. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> this is wow, even the echoing was amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Doc gift. has Discord cameo? It's a gift and a curse. <laughs> and Whoa. somebody animate this all right. <laughs> oh my god, that would be is hilarious. That, is that all for your is that all for your question, Dino? Uh yeah, I think that pretty much answers my question as well. Um yeah, I'll guess but I'll I head back to question. the audience. Wait, huh? I have a question for you. Oh, no, Discord, don't uh, would you like my autograph? <laughs> all right, Doc. Uh, that's enough out of you. And Discord Thanks too. Thank you, Dino. Thank you, Dino. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you, Dino. Talk to you later. Right. I guess there were all, there were hands raised and like now they're no oh uh, now they all yeah. gone. I actually have I have at least one more question, and for yes, Goku, give, give. for Goku, who are some of the they're easiest my- characters to write for, and who are some of the hardest characters to write for in the story? Oh snap! I'm wanna be. I'm going to be very. I'm gonna say like I'm not too much of a writer. Do we have a writer in here? I I know I wrote a part of the episode, but I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself a really good writer. But yeah, so the easiest I would the easiest is to write is I would say is obviously Sonic because you know. You do tell <laughs> because he is because you know you can easily give him the most cheesiest lines ever. Yeah, chili dogs. Unless, <laughs> unless unless you're pretty much like Ian Flynn who writes Sonic's Sonic's dialogues. Yeah. But like you just gotta you just gotta write a regular dude for the most part. Exactly. Like, you know, like, yeah, you're like, telling <laughs> And for Sorry. the hard and for the hardest character so far, I would just say. It's 
That's a good question relating to the hard ones, because so far, because here's the thing, like, I didn't do much of the script writing. So for the hard question, I would actually say it, for the hard character, I would say is I'm going to say is Twilight Sparkle. Mm. Because really? the because here's the thing, she's it. You have to make sure you have to make sure that Twilight Sparkle doesn't know that she is actually encountering a human in Equestria and seeing robots around Equestria. And so, like, Wait, is EQG not canon in this universe? What's that? It's no, EQG. she didn't. She uh, no, she referenced in episode one about the portal. Oh, that's she saying well, like if you only like, went so through the like, portal, then you couldn't be. Then you could possibly be a pony, but you're not. So, like, mm-hmm. you want to make sure that the ponies like Twilight Sparkle have to mention Sonic lore, like you know, from, you have to make sure you have. She has to. You have to write it the way she views it, and you know, she's a, she's observing something that she has never seen before from a different universe, like a Sonic universe. Like she would assume Eggman is from from the Equestria Girls universe. So yeah, like CHS or kind of like like, um, like so like yeah. <laughs> You have to think of a way of giving the words that Twilight could say when she observes the Eggman's robots and Eggman, basically. Yeah, like, of course, uh, how she was going full on into detail about questioning, like, what they are, and then Spike going, um, we got better things to deal with right now. Yeah, but because, of course, right. words, because like, like, she would be so fascinated. But then but again, but she thing has I no idea who this is. Oh, sorry if I talked over you, Jay. No, I'm sorry. You go on ahead. <laughs> You're good. But yeah, like, they're like, but one, but I would have to appreciate the writers that they at least made sure that Twilight's lines about Dr. Eggman and her and the minions are, are delivered. When she mentioned minions, that were delivered really well because, you know, it is a really hard, it's like writing a dialogue relating, that's kind of, it's kind of tough relating to that thing. Cause, you know, Twilight, cause, you know, Sonic is easy, obviously, you know, but for Twilight, you know, she is struggling to, she is, she, can't, she gets, twi- she does Twilighting every single time when bad situations happen. So, you may be ever. Eggman, so Egg, <laughs> when she sees Eggman, that is when she gets more, she gets really confused. <laughs> yeah. So it's very difficult, especially when. Uh, for me, actually watching and also reading episode one script, it's kind of, it is also very difficult as someone who has never gotten that much into Sonic. It is as someone who has like grown up with MLP a lot, then it's it's very it's very confusing. So I, I'd agree with how Twilight would be the most difficult, but also the v- most confused. I also like what uh, Dino said in in the chat for discussions. Thought that Pinkie Pie would be a hard character because. It's Pinky. <laughs> I mean, um, it's easy for Pinky, honestly, because again, like I did mention before, she can easily know everything. And I'll say your Pinky sense, of course. This. But yeah, but yeah, that does make sense. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that does. I, does it answer? T, does it answer, MC? Yeah, I think that answers pretty well. Thank you. Anyway, we, we have another hand raised in the chat. It's Landy, am I? Landy, mind taking this? Yeah, sure. Let's go and get her. Hey, Dolly. How are you doing? Dolly. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello? Oh, yeah, 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 we can, can hear you. you. Yes, I can hear you. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Welcome to the, welcome to the meeting, by the way. Anyway, what's your question? Well, it says I'm a new artist here that I recently joined not long ago. Welcome to the and Gulag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have cookies. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to ask. Sorry. All right, go on. Have you can ask questions right now. Yep. I wanted to ask since you you already said that most of the second episode is completed. If if I'm correct. I mean, it is. Um, the voice act. The lines were like ninety five, ninety percent, or ninety percent completed. But the rest of it, it's still in a work in progress. That's what I was saying. That's what I was. That's oh, what I was saying. The voices. 
but not the yeah. artwork. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like you said, it's still in def- it's still in definite development. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Does that answer? Yes, yes. Basically, you're only halfway done. You got the voices, but now you got to connect them with the art. Mm, that's correct. And the We're editing is already the proper. Rail. Yeah. <laughs> Which I will help as I can. You are really good. So yeah, like so I think you're a great fit. So welcome to the team. I'm posting some art here and there, but because I, I the art that you've seen before when before I joined, I had an old I was using an old pen and it recently broke and now I have a new pen, so that's why you've seen me post here and there random art. Because I love an upgrade. Out. My new pen, yes, is an official Apple pen. I've been using an imitation my whole life. <laughs> Love the Apple pen. A pineapple <laughs> pen? Sorry, I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll down that rabbit hole. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, all right. So, is that, does, that, does that answer your question? Yeah. Right. Thanks for answering Thank you. your Thank question. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I ask another if it's not okay? Sure. Sure. Yeah, if there's no one else. Will there be like what discussions for when people start making the art? Like if we need to do VCs or because I would I, like it. I mean, you're more than welcome to at least share your progress of the work. Like you know, if you're part of the like, are you are, are you asking a question? Is you're if, if you're a part of the team? Well, I would like the when I. St- start a part or if people start a part if you want to see the process in the in the voice chat or I mean like it has to be well it has to be under like you know as long as it's under our the team system under the same server which we will not so as long as you're doing as long as you like we as a team can see it if it's relating to Sonic Quest yeah. for Harmony, you know. Yeah, like a part of the uh, Sonic Quest for Harmony Discord server as well as the Crossbreak Studios, we have a a, yeah, a work in progress know. panel. So yeah, that's where we would definitely encourage uh, showing your work in progresses. I mean, like we'll worry about that later on. So yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. No problem. Well, thanks for your question. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, great. Nice great move. Come on in. All right. Uh, you can. All right. Um, thank you, Tali. Um, you can um, you need, go back to your audience. All right. So, do you want me to bring her? Want me to call the per- next person? Go right ahead. All right. Oh, dang. I fell. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> all right. Rainbow. <laughs> <Come on in. laughs> hey, cheese and quackers. Rainbow's in the, in the stage. <laughs> Go, Ken. I was just about to say that. I know you're going to say it. <laughs> it's a rain boom. It's a rain boom. How are you doing? How you? I'm, I'm doing great. How are you all doing? Doing well. Anyway, okay. I'm going to ask a question to go, Ken, to go, Ken. How did you come up with the... So how did you ever come up with the, the, the cameo characters as ponies? Well, here's the thing. I want to make sure that the cameo characters are in Equestria, the most forgotten characters from the Sonic lore. <laughs> like, let me tell you one example. Like, for example, I featured uh, Claris and Elliot from Nights into Dreams in Episode Zero when they were in the the school of the gifted unicorns when they were looking at the pro presentation of Twilight Sparkle. For those who have seen season five beginning, you'll understand that scene. You'll know that scene. Oh, oh shoot. Yes, yeah. the presentation yeah. bit. Yeah, so, um, but someone is asking a- who those characters are in the discussion chat. But yeah. So, as I was saying, like, you know, the cameos, I only choose cameos wisely that one that fits, fits for the scene. Like, for example, I can sometimes put in OCs of our team. Of our team, actually, like I also featured my OC as well. So, you, I'm aiming for cameos to be mostly as Sega IPs. It doesn't only have to be Sonic. It can be like Sega IPs, like for example, ones from Yakuza, Virtual Fighter, Crazy Taxi. I yeah. want to. 
Uh, and also Jet Set Radio. Because I wanted to like make since since this project is mostly prioritizing to be a Sonic fan project, I wanted to feature those Sega IPs as cameos there in Equestria to basically get the vibe. Like, to just get just give them the vibes. Or I also thought about putting in the I thought about putting the Equestria version of Daytona USA <laughs> as an example. Not a guarantee, but I'll do my best. But yeah, um, that's <laughs> how I come up with cameos. Is, does that answer your question, Rainbow? Uh, yes, that's all I have. That's all I have. All right, thank all right. you so much. Sweet, thank, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for your also, question. you all take care, everyone. Bye. And you too. Bye. I believe Prankster was in the audience and was raising hands, but she didn't show up. Yeah. They oh, just no. disappeared. Uh huh. No, they went poof. <sighs> now uh, what are we going to do? Does anyone else have any questions? Uh, if not, we may have to end the panel early. I uh, Shoot. I'm sure I can come up with something because I was thinking of a question earlier because I, mm. I, still, I, still, I still have some... I mean, you guys are more active in this project than I am, so I'm... Mm. Uh, Flicker, ask us the question. I, I will. I will come up with something. Just give me two seconds. Okay, so, okay Jacob, you're more than welcome to ask us. <laughs> what did you, you say? You're more than welcome to ask us because you haven't been active for a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. I I really don't know what's happening or how far along you guys are to to the end of episode two and stuff or or what's um. So okay, go again. Um. So. You, you learned programming and stuff. So you were doing the game for a long time, uh, cool. and then you changed to audio drama, uh, to the audio drama. Um, what do you think is you know, c- c- what do you think is easier? Like c- like comparing the two jobs of programming and directing, like an audio drama. Like is it is is the you know is it easier than programming a game or is it you know what the it's actually to answer your question. I believe that doing uh, like like since I'm not doing a fan game anymore, and just doing audio drama is a lot more easier than doing a fan game right now, because I know I'm pretty sure you're aware about this. The fan game add up to the fan game, which was canceled, barely got any support, and we only had a two people. We only had two people, including me and the program. It's very result. hard to to find other programmers to help with that kind of thing. So exactly. I, like, whereas, whereas you can find a bunch of artists, I feel like. Weren't you, know? you using so Click Team? What's that? Weren't you using Click Team Fusion for it, too? I was doing Game... I was using Game Maker Studio. Oh, I thought it was Click Team. I was going to say, if it was Click Team, good luck finding people for that, because that is <laughs> that is a rough engine to use. Oh, yeah. So, and, 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 like, and also, another reason why it was also tough is because with the current state of the Sonic fan game community, I it's kind of hard to find people to help out because you know I had a history with the fan game community, and and you know what I gave up on that. So, but you know what? things are a little fragmented. It's fragmented, and see, you know that Landy even knows this too. <laughs> but yeah, like I feel like you know the audio drama or. or or should I call this a video series? It actually got a lot more support for both Sonic MLP fans right now. Because, you know, and with the premiere of the first episode, it got like around... Which, it, which is exciting, but I'm also... Because um, we had a lot... You, we had, you had a lot of plans for, for, for the game, and I was like really into it. I know, um, like, but I was not even thinking of the reason. Yeah, no, and that's fine. I just, I wish I got more support because I think it deserved it. But glad this is getting support. But technically, this is still one project. We are moving, yeah, we are transitioning into that, into the video series or the audio drama. And the good news is that their first episode got me like three. Recently, got me us three K subscribers now. Hey, yo, congrats! Three well, yeah, K. Hey, hey, 3K, That's yes. Impressive, and, actually. And fifty, and we got fifty-seven K views on the first episode after a few after a few weeks of premiere. That's really impressive. That's gotta be an Academy yeah. record. I know. Like, I was never expecting this because, like, 
they all want a Sonic and Mile Pony crossover that should be done instead of a ship fic. Yeah, and thankfully there is there's been some of uh the comments down below that have actually said like, oh my gosh, a crossover that doesn't involve shipping? <laughs> the best idea ever. Yeah. I was yep. like, oh my yep. gosh. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Even though a few of the a few of the MLB uh uh audio dramas I'm a part of does contain some shipping, but it's what the people like. And you know, Gokin, if you want to subvert expectations, you can always just, you know, change your mind and just have this be like a huge ship fic. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, wait a minute. Okay, okay. Everyone's, everyone's, you know, there's polyamorous relationships. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Bro. Sorry. Yes, but yeah, like, yeah. Uh, back to where I was saying, mm-hmm. I, 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 like, I do have all huge goals relating to Crossbreak Studios and Sonic Quest for Harmony as an audio drama, which formerly was the fan game. Uh, was became a huge success. I'm pretty sure, and you know, we will not. I will not only probably pre- release Sonic Quest for Harmony episode, but there will be like more fan projects related for Crossmix Studios. So there is one that I'm currently planning out, but I'm not going to reveal it until I announce it. So you know, Boy. because you know, we want to like. We're all because you know we also want to do some vending involving this involving Crossbreak as well, so that way we can make we can make an original game. Bendy, <laughs> sorry. Because you know this is kind of like my side. This is kind of like the side business that I'm aiming to do, and you know something that I've always wanted to do. So does that answer your question, Jacob? Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Yes. You're more than welcome and happy to join with us again if you have the opportunity. But, you know, you do your own thing. I, I don't know what it is I would do to pro- the only thing I can really I feel like provide is is editing. Um uh, I mean I could do other stuff, but like editing is my is my safe house, you know. Join us. <laughs> Come back. Join us. Yeah. Come I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, is, so is there anyone else? Oh, if anyone else wants to ask questions, you can raise hands. Yes. Really, there was a yes, few please. that was long ago in the chat. I yeah. think um, there was one that was uh, the prime profile picture had their hand raised. Otherwise, that's all that I remember. Unless that there was the prank master, but they left. Prankster. Prankster. <laughs> Looks like she's out of the chat. Yeah. Anyway, sadly. Can I also any questions? I have one more question. Is without spoiling too much, is there anything you would like to share about upcoming episodes? Oh, so yeah, I might as well just show it right now. A little sneak peek of ep- a little small storyboard sneak peek of episode two. If that's like, where is it? It's like, where is it? Are you gonna have to screen share? Or? I mean, give me a moment. I have to see if it's if I have it read because I haven't even had that file for a while. Oh, there it is. It's a video. Let me just it's a video. open it. And just so you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. No music, no sound. It's just voiceover. Oh, boy. I drew that. This is this is drawn by uh, this is draw the scenes are drawn by Doc and featuring Slay Doc. Let's go! All right, yo, that's my bestie right there. <laughs> hey, it's me. So, what's so special about some big sparkly tree, anyways? Well, if you had paid attention to the boss's evil ramblings in the past couple of days, maybe you'd know. Bolt for brains. But he's been rambling about so much between ponies, magic, and spells that my circuit boards haven't been able to keep up with all this mumbo jumbo. Come on, can't you just tell me? (sighs) This is the Tree of Harmony, one of the most powerful sources of magic you'll find here in Equestria, as well as one of the centerpieces of the boss's current plan. And what was the plan again? Well, why don't you just ask the man himself? Huh? And yes. <laughs> and I'm also also about to show one screenshot 
of just one specific scene that you will see. And it's also drawn by, it's on the, our show discussion. Who's in the discussions? Yes. Hey, what do you see? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. They both go zoom. They go pew pew. They go blam. Pow. Kakawi. So, yes. And zoom. <laughs> and then they fist bump. And this also means you will see more. You you get to see more Sonic and Rainbow Dash moments in the next episode. Slay. <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys know as a bad news. Keep. I'm just going to say keep your expectations low on Sonic and Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Yeah. Low. Very so, low. The reason why I'm saying this is because revisit episode zero and you'll understand why. So I keep it on the low burner. Mm-hmm. They've had sort of bad relations ever since Sonic Prime. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. But yeah, other than that, that's all I can show. I'm not like I'm not going to show everything, but that's all I have so far. A little looking forward to the future. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if no one else has any questions, I guess we can end this panel right here and now. Anyway, right. thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you all. Guys. Thank you so much. All right. Does thank anyone you. else have, have a good night? Wait, wait. Hang, mm-hmm. on, hang, hang on. Do any of our panelists have any last things to say? I'm just like um, I do want to say for the last things. Last one to say is thank you for the opportunity, Sonic Revo staff. I mean Eggman. Sorry, Doctor. That for the opportunity of taking part of this panel. This is actually my very first time. And yeah, um, I love everyone in this, in this community. I've been keeping in touch with every one of you and you all gave me the opportunity to spread the word of what we did. And I want to thank doc J a and Jacob for being here as well for being my great support. Yeah, like no Crossbreak Studios is is now my biggest goal, like the, my biggest goal in my life, and I really am looking forward to the future, what we're doing. So yeah, like if it weren't for everybody around here, I wouldn't go this far. And I thank you all. Hey. Oh, and also Landy, I also say thank you for being around ever since I casted you as Sonic. That's no problem. Uh, I might not be, you know, super involved, but it's nice to get a big old script and just be able to record it. That's that's correct. But yeah, uh, Doc, do you have anything to say now? Um, I'm going to try to keep it short. I love being here with everyone. That's all. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, J.A., take it. Just wanted to say that thank you guys so much. This is my very first panel, and I'm so excited to have been a part of it and especially being a part of Crossbreak Studios involving Sonic Quest for Harmony. Thank you especially to Gogin for allowing me to be a part of this project and thank you MC for for uh, having this prepared out. And especially huge thanks to Landy, Doc and and Jacob of course for for being a part of this <laughs> and not making me that nervous. <laughs> and thanks to everyone for their no awesome questions. All right, Jacob. Uh, yeah, no, I just wanted to say thank you for coming, everybody. It was fun. You know, uh, this is my second panel I've done. Uh, so it was, it was a blast. Uh, and, uh, can't wait to see what everyone does in the future regarding this series. So, yeah. Endless possibility. Endless possibility. Yeah, that's good. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Best song ever. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. you. (laughs) All right. That's all. Huge round of applause for our panelists: Goken San, Doc Nguyen, JEA15, and Flicker Flame. And also a big shout out to my co-host Landy RS. Anyway, Ooh. and so Ooh. our next panel is going to be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and it's going to be our fourth character mix-up panel. A bunch of characters Ooh. that. Don't often get the chance to interact with our audience. Get the chance to come out and show what they know. To show what they're made of. So anyway, thank you all for coming. And hopefully to see you some other time. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Hope you have a good one.